Assembled guests, please stand. Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kello, Governor General of New Zealand, and Dr. Richard Davis. Please be seated. Kura tato katoa, no mai haramai ki te fare kawana o tamaki makauro. Distinguished guests, it is a pleasure to welcome you all to Government House today for the investiture ceremony. I'd like to specifically acknowledge Mr. Joe Harawira, Komatua, Mrs. Ranui Ngarimu, Kuia. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa New Zealand through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks for your contributions. Now, after each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Harry Makaire of Coromandel, for services to the aquaculture industry and Māori. Harry Makaire was one of the Coromandel's earliest mussel farmers. He is a director of Parehauraki Fishing Trust and Aquaculture New Zealand, and established several successful aquaculture and health businesses employing many people. He has developed capability in aquaculture throughout Asia. He is a director of Hauraki Māori Trust Board and chairs Pare Hauraki Assets Holding, Te Korowai Hauaro o Hauraki, Te Kapa Moana Enterprise Limited, Hauraki Primary Health Organisation, Tainui Waka Alliance and Ngāti Pūkenga Ki Manaia. He sat on the Waikato District Health Board chaired the Iwi Māori Council and was Iwi Negotiator of the Oumaro. He was Director and Chair of the Asset Holding Trust of Ngāti Kahungunu. As a Committee Member and Chair, Mr Makaire has helped to redevelop Manaya Marae and local kura. Mr Harry Makaire, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Ms. Darian Takel of Auckland for services to the performing arts. Darian Takel taught acting classes for many years, writing and directing plays for her students. She has been involved with numerous theatre, musical theatre, film and television productions in New Zealand, Australia and England. After a period with the first cohort of the Mercury Theatre, she toured the United Kingdom with the musical Godspell and formed her own theatre company in London. She has performed as Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, Edith Piaf in Piaf, Eva Perron in Evita, Fantine in Les Miserables, the headmistress in Heavenly Creatures, Ruth Scarry in The Lost Tribe, and Xena Mother in Xena Warrior Princess. Recent work with Auckland Theatre Company includes You Can Always Hand Them Back and Lysistrata. Mrs. Takel has ve- featured in many iconic New Zealand screen programmes. Ms. Darian Takel, please come forward. Ms. Sina Went of Auckland for services to governance. Sina Went is Chief Executive Officer of Leadership New Zealand, which contrib- uh, contributes to the capacity and capability of leaders across public and private sectors from diverse communities in New Zealand. She has worked with people from the Pacific and the Commonwealth of all ages and backgrounds to encourage all to step into leadership roles. She helped develop and launch Manamoana Experience, a program for Pacifica leaders. She is a founding trustee of the Pacific Music Awards Trust, starting with one Pacific Music Award at the New Zealand Music Awards and now having 18 categories at the Pacific Music Awards. She was president of the Young Women's Christian Association, YWCA, Auckland, and co-president of YWCA New Zealand. Ms. Went is a member of the Auckland University of Technology Council. Ms. Sina Went, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Kelly Feng of Auckland, for services to health and Asian communities. Kelly Feng established and led Asian mental health services at Waitamata District Health Board. She then became National Director of Asian Family Services, AFS, a non-governmental organisation for gambling prevention and harm minimisation. She supported establishment of the ASHA program, which supports South Asians who face gambling and related issues like domestic violence. She created Asian Wellbeing Services to provide non-gambling related counselling, psychological interventions and psychoeducation. AFS then formed partnerships to provide psychological services within GP clinics and schools. 
To address high suicide deaths amongst Asian New Zealanders, Mrs Feng collaborated through AFS with mental health professionals to create Asian language resource videos to reduce the stigma around mental health. Mrs Kelly Feng, please come forward. Mr. Rob Oliver of Auckland for services to the food industry and Pacific communities. Rob Oliver is a New Zealand chef raised in Fiji. He developed programs to feed the homeless and African migrants with AIDS in New York City and created farm-to-table resorts in the Caribbean. He has written two award-winning cookbooks, he is Chef Ambassador of Le Cordon Bleu, New Zealand, and was a judge of My Kitchen Rules, New Zealand. He was co-host of reality cooking show Marae Kai Masters and was a TEDx speaker. Mr. Oliver is founder and executive director of Pacific Island Food Revolution, a television-led multimedia movement across the South Pacific, aiming to return the region to traditional cuisine to curb the Pacific's non-communicable disease crisis. Mr. Rob Oliver, please come forward. Ms. Teremoana Rapley of Auckland for services to music and television. Teremoana Rapley was part of pioneering rap group Upper Hut Posse and pop trio Moana and the Moa Hunters before beginning her solo career. She has provided guest vocals with various artists including She Fu and King Kapisi. She was a field reporter on long-running children's television show What Now and a presenter on TV2's Māori youth programme My Time, later holding roles including director, camera operator, editor, script writer, production manager and producer. She was a producer at the Māori television service for 10 years, producing 1,457 television programmes. Ms. Rapley is Creative Economy Lead Strategist at Economic and Cultural Agency, Auckland Unlimited. Ms. Teremoana Rapley, please come forward. Ms. Karen Verko of Rotorua for services to governance and sport. Karen Verko is chief executive of the Te Arawa Lakes Trust. She chairs Te Pumo Tanga o Te Arawa, the post-settlement governance entity, and is a director with forestry assets company Central North Island Iwi Holdings Limited. 
She chairs the Data Iwi Leaders Group. She sat on the Sport Industry Training Organisation Māori Board and Oscar Foundation. She represented New Zealand in rugby and touch rugby. She worked in secondary schools as a sport fits coordinator and for an outdoor pursuits trust. She was Māori Health Manager at Farmac and General Manager of the Papatākoro Tarawa. Ms Verko established KTV Consulting, which focuses on Māori organisational development. Ms Karen Verko, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs. Vaisamo Manoa of Auckland for services to the Tuvalu community. Vaisamo Manoa, I beg your pardon, was a founder of the Tuvalu Christian Church, the first Tuvalu church in New Zealand. She has led the Women's Fellowship, created a Sunday school groups, and supported the establishment of a youth group. She has helped maintain the Tuvalu language and helped found Funafuti Tuvalu Women's Committees to uphold tradition and customs. She has taught traditional songs and dances, weaving and needlework. She has appropriated materials available in New Zealand to create traditional items. Mrs Manoa is a member of the Te Uluniu Tuvalu Taumatua Trust, which provides services to the Tuvalu communities in Auckland. Mrs. Vaisamo Manoa, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. I just want to acknowledge for a moment the fact that we have Sir Albert Went in the room with us, who is a member of the Order of New Zealand. It's lovely to see you here today, Sir. These honours reinforce the things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the spirit of the whakatauki, whaia te iti kahurangi. Ki te tu ohu koe me he maunga teitei. Seek the treasure that you value most dearly. If you should bow your head, let it be to a lofty mountain. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and thank you once again for your service to our country. Kia ora, hui mai tato. 
You will see on the back of your program the words to the national anthem in te reo Māori and in English. I now invite you to stand with me and join in singing the anthem. Mm -hmm. 